Okay, if you're thinking to buy smartphones right now, stop right there. Because there are really good smartphones upcoming in December and January. Like November was a very different month for smartphones. There were almost no smartphone launches, which is pretty weird for the Indian market. But the most important event of November was the launch of the new Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. And if the leaks are accurate, it might be faster than Apple's Bionic processor. Finally, finally we did it. Now that's a claim we have to test for ourselves. Which brings me to December. We'll again have very few launches but it will tell us about the upcoming 2023 year which is going to be packed with really good smartphone launches. I'm very excited, let's go. Okay, so first let's talk about the big one, the Samsung S23 series. So Samsung usually releases their flagship series in the Jan and Feb, like the S22 came out in February 2022. But Samsung would launch the S23 series earlier, maybe by early January. And there are three phones in the series, the S23, S23 Plus and S23 Ultra. Now S23 and S23 Plus is expected to have a change in design, especially in the camera area on the back. Like so far, the S22 series has this camera module in the back. So all the three cameras are inside the rectangular camera island area. With S23, they may remove the rectangular portion and make it more in line with the Ultra series. So all the three phones will have the same design language. Now, one major change this year in S23 could be the processor. Samsung will launch all S23 series in India and outside with the latest Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor. As per rumors, there will be no Exynos variant. Now Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 as per the specs looks really good and especially since it is made by TSMC and not Samsung themselves, the heating issues look a lot better. So Samsung could be targeting smartphone gaming this year. In the rest of the specs you will get 120Hz dynamic OLED display, 8GB RAM, 128GB storage. But the most interesting part again is it may have a 200 megapixel camera. And Samsung phones take some of the best pictures today. So the 200 megapixel should further improve the camera. Now, another bigger rumor is the S23 series will have satellite connectivity. Now, in case you don't know, the new iPhone 14 series has satellite connectivity. So in case you are lost and don't have network connection, you can still make calls. But this feature is not available in India. Now, Samsung has taken that feature from Apple and we hope it comes to India too. Samsung S series usually start from 70,000 rupees. So as per leaks and rumors, it should be the same price. Also, Samsung gives good offers during their launches. So you'll get all the first impressions we use only on TechWiser. So a subscribe to TechWiser would be wiser. Also, it is rumored that Samsung might launch a budget phone or under 15,000 phone. Now, the name is not confirmed, but it will be a Samsung M series. You'll get a 1080p IPS display, dual SIM support. Now, not much is known, but you should see a silent launch this month. Next up is the popular Realme 10 Pro series. Now, it was launched in China recently and it is confirmed to release in India on December 8th. We would have both Realme 10 and Realme 10 Pro Plus series. Now, as per specs, it will have the latest Diamond City 1080 processor, a 6.7 inch curved display, 108 megapixel main camera, but this year, in the Realme 10 Pro Plus series, there will be no OIS. It's just a 108 megapixel sensor. For the pricing, Realme CEO tweeted that the Realme 10 Pro Plus will be under 25,000 and you can expect Realme 10 Pro to be under 20,000. Now, the curved display is something you'll see a lot in budget phones in 2023. Next up, Vivo is rumored to launch the Vivo X90 series. The X90 series is known to have a really good camera. The X90 series will have Vivo X90 and Vivo X90 Pro. Now, the old X80 launched in May 2022. The X90 should launch at the end of December or early January. So, the flagship X90 Pro will have the latest Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, 6.78 inch 2K AMOLED display. But this time, they are giving a 50 megapixel 1 inch sensor. And that is a big deal. Because generally, just increasing the megapixel doesn't really mean better photos, the sensor size is very important. And we have tried the same 1 inch camera sensor, we brought the Xiaomi 12s Ultra out of China and the photos were just mind blowing. So I'm excited particularly for the camera this year. Now as per Chinese price conversion, the Vivo X90 may cost around 57,000 rupees and the X90 Pro will cost around 74,000 rupees. But in India with customs and all tax, you can add 5,000 more to the price. Another confirmed launch is the Xiaomi 13. It will come out on December 1, 2022 in China. But this phone will be the first phone with a lot of new things. First of all, it will be the first phone to come out with the latest Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor. And also it will have an AMOLED display, 2K, 120Hz. But the most interesting thing is, it shall come out with the all new MIUI 14 OS. Now Xiaomi is saying it should be more lighter than Google's stock Android 13. So in theory, it should consume less RAM and perform faster in similar conditions. 
But that's an interesting claim and we'll see that. Also, Xiaomi could launch the new watch and new TWS, the Xiaomi Watch S2 and Buds 4 along with the phone. Now, we are not sure about the price, but for a flagship, it should be somewhere around 70,000 rupees. Also, Apple was supposed to unveil their new MacBook Pro lineup. Like in the past, Apple launched the MacBook M1 Pro variant in October 2021. So they should have launched the MacBook M2 Pro by now. Like memes these days. Also, the most anticipated Mac product would be the M2 iMac and the M2 Mac Mini. Like, we are excited for it. Like, we have the M1 version of both Mac Mini and iMac and they are quite powerful, but the M1 version came out in May 2021, more than one year ago. They are due for a serious upgrade, like even we need more power. So the M2 variant of them should be even more powerful and hopefully at the same price. However, if leaks and rumors are to be believed, Apple could unveil their new Mac lineups in end of December or early January. So was hoping for that. Next up, we have the Moto X40 from Motorola and Motorola has had a really good year so far. Like they have had many launches. You guys bought a lot of Motorola phones and in SNL, 9 p.m. live every Saturday. Now for December, Motorola is expected to launch the Moto X40 in first week of December in China and it shall get a global release soon after that, maybe end of December and it should come in India maybe by first week of January. It will come with the latest Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor, 144Hz OLED display, 50 megapixel triple camera setup. But surprisingly, it will also have a 60 megapixel front selfie camera. Now, in the new year, I want to see Motorola bringing phones with good cameras. Like the Moto H30 Ultra had a good camera, a bit inconsistent. So if new Moto phones can have that similar camera software, that would be great. The Moto X40 is expected to start in India at around 60,000 rupees. We'll also see the successor of Moto G72, Moto G73. It will have Snapdragon 778G, 50 megapixel main camera and 65 watt fast charging. Now we are not sure about that pricing, but if these specs come under 20,000, it will be a really good phone. Now, IQ could launch the new flagship IQ 11 this month in December. Like IQ phones are performance centric and a good camera phone. Overall, IQ phones are good value for many smartphones. Now, in terms of specs for IQ 11, you will have the same. The latest Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor, 2K AMOLED display. It will have a triple camera setup, like a 50 megapixel main camera, 12 megapixel 3X telephoto lens, 8 megapixel ultra wide, and this is a bit strange to me, like the ultra wide captures more images, so shouldn't that have a bigger megapixel than telephoto? And the pricing is rumored to be around 50 to 60,000 rupees. So yeah, that was the list. December definitely is going to be a very interesting month as compared to November. And January is gonna be packed with launches, so many phones to test. I'm pretty excited. On that note, this is Pratik signing off. See you in the next video. Pew, pew.